Hi, so this is a Les Paul bass, really cool one. And I just had to document this because I've never seen it before and I never even knew it was a thing. But as I'm going through a setup on this, I've got the action at a pretty nice place. Uh, this neck doesn't have much relief at all. Um, so it's nice flat neck, it's playing good all over the neck. No buzzing going on anywhere until I got to one particular fret on the neck. Right here, the 13th fret on the A string. And if I pluck it in, right, in just the right place, a horrific buzz. And I noticed if I touch the string behind the fretted note, it goes away. But I looked in some forums and the guys called it back buzz. And apparently this can happen with basses. Um, the suggestion was perhaps the nut slot was cut a little deep. And indeed, when I give it the quick test of fretting on the third fret and then checking how much space I have here, this nut is cut really deep. Uh, there's almost no clearance when you fret on the third and then check the clearance above the first fret. So what they suggested to test it was to put a little piece of paper underneath the string here at the nut. And if that back buzz goes away, then maybe you just need to fill the nut a little bit there. Another guy suggested that you could increase the relief. And I think that probably also would fix it on this, but then I affect the entire instrument. So I'm gonna do the test with the paper first. Okay, so a minute later, you can see I've got a little hunk of paper just stuffed under there, under the A string at the nut. And now we'll test it at the 13th fret again, plucking in the same place. Does seem, no, no. Still got it, but it's harder to get it to happen. Okay, you know what the first thing I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try just loosening before I fill in the nut. I think the nut fill would fix it because I can see it's lessened with that little tiny scrap of paper. But you know what I'll do? first is I'll try adding a tiny bit of relief to the neck and see if that miraculously gets rid of it. Okay, got my truss rod wrench. This is one of those truss rod slots that's not real accommodating. Completely buried in there. There's nothing wrong with it just the wood around it preventing getting that truss rod on there good. Okay, there we go. Okay, that was maybe a quarter turn loose. Let's see if that did anything. Okay, it's not making that sound anymore, but of course, now the action is gonna be higher way higher, so let's see what happens. If I bring the action back down. I got room to, getting it down to about 0 .080, that's where I had it before. Okay, 13th fret. Okay, so it appears this back buzz was pretty well fixed by putting a little more relief in the neck. Now I just have to hope that the setup overall will accommodate that extra amount of relief. All right, so just to finish up with this, I was checking the relief on this, it's about 
0.012, I think, which is a little more relief than I usually use, but the bass does seem to be playing better all over. This particular neck seems to like a little more relief. And um, I got rid of that back buzz. So just in conclusion, what you can try and do if you find you've got back buzz is two things. You can add a little more relief to the neck, or if that's gonna to totally throw off your setup, um, you can do a fill on the nut slot. Um, I, I believe that would have fixed the problem here too if I had filled that nut slot um, and brought the string up a little bit at the nut. Uh, the old baking soda and super glue trick that everybody knows. So uh, hopefully you never see a back buzz situation but uh, that was my first encounter with it, and luckily it worked out okay.